Welcome to video tutorials of mechanisms by Mekanis Miller. In this video we are going to explain the four positions indexing pneumatic systems. By using only one air cylinder we cannot control more than two positions. To control multiple positions we should use more than one cylinder. If we want more than two positions for the indexing, up to four indexing, we should use two air cylinders with different stroke sizes as shown here. If we want the indexing distances to be equal to each other, then the stroke of the long cylinder should be twice as long as the short cylinder. Notice that with two equal stroke cylinders we can only get three indexing positions. Here is the assembled view of the cylinders. The short and long cylinders are joined back to back and the short cylinder is tied to a wall with its piston rod. The long cylinder's piston rod is fixed to a slider mechanism which will push work pieces to a predetermined index position. In this animation the stroke of the small cylinder is 100 units and the long cylinder has a stroke of 200 units. This makes indexing positions 100 units apart as we will see soon. The green arrow shown here indicates the indexing positions. The vertical red and blue lines are pneumatic tubing where blue indicates low pressure while the red indicated high pressure. Notice that both cylinders are in retracted positions and the indexing head is positioned in the initial stage of indexing. Two cylinders are controlled by their own four-way solenoids valves not shown in this animation. To reach the first indexing position we should extend the short cylinder. We accomplish this by energizing the short cylinder solenoids. To reach the second indexing position, we should extend the long cylinder and retracting the short cylinder at the same time. The final indexing position can be reached by extending the short cylinder and keeping the long cylinder in its already extended position. Finally to return to the index starting position, both cylinders must be retracted. I will do the process a couple of times so you can visualize the process in operation. Please note that the colors of the tubing and the cylinders are changing to reflect the appropriate operations. Control of this kind operation becomes much easier for an average person by using Arduino-like control devices. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.